Hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about the types, uh, as in the major physical changes, to the Stanley number 25 uh, bevel. And everything that I'm going to be talking about today comes from my type study, which I have published on my website, chaptacowood.com. It'll be linked down in the comments. And this is going to be a high-level overview, because we have nine distinct types, uh, major changes. But within those nine types, we have 30 distinct variations. Um, and I'm just going to hit on the types. Some variations, as necessary, we will spend a little more time on the type ones, uh, since they're significantly different from the rest. Um, but uh, before we get started, one thing I would like to talk about is the two features that all of these uh, number 25 bevels uh, share. And these were produced for a long time, running from 1857 all the way up to about 2015. Um, and in, in that run of time, two things stayed constant. Um, first is the angle at the end of the blade, which is 45 degrees. Uh, that's constant throughout all nine types. Uh, the second is that the bottom plates are held on with two um, pegs. Um, not screws, um, but these uh, two posts. That's consistent across everything. Uh, so with that in mind, let's get started, and we'll first talk about type 1, uh, which is 1857 to 1876. Uh, and uh, the Stanley used wing nuts uh, for these, and I have four here because there are four distinct variations, um, and those have to do with the distinction of the wing nuts, and the bolts in the back. Here you can see the bolts in the back um, that we have uh, domed, sort of uh, you know, uh, very concave bolt heads, and then we also have flat bolt heads. So two distinct styles. With the wing nuts, you can see that we have two distinct styles. Uh, these two um, are very straight. Uh, these two uh, flare at the bottom, almost like a built-in washer. So two distinct types. And those, you can find them completely mix and match. So these are the four types. You can have the straight with the, the ball um, bolt head or the flat bolt head. You can have the flared wing nut with the ball or the flat. So that gives you four distinctions. Um, the general way to know if um, an old bevel like this is a Stanley is these uh, two screws, which are uh, recessed down um, from they're not in line with the uh, the wing nut they are slightly down um, as we talked about the two posts the 45 degree angle on the blade there are some other diagnostics including handle length uh, width of the slots that type of stuff that you can find in my type study so that is type one type two uh, runs from 1876 to 1878 a very short time uh, this is the introduction of the lever uh, that is so common to the uh, to the Stanley bevel. And we have two variations here, um, basically a pre-patent and a post-patent. Um, the pre-patent, you can see, has no patent on the lever eye, uh, and instead it says patent applied for on the body. The other variation has the patent date uh, of September 4th, 1877, going around the eye of the lever. And those are the two variations, and these were only offered for about two years before they changed to type 3, which is the same patent for the lever, but they've moved to the now more familiar um, uh, triangle-shaped lever. It gives a little higher, better grip um, for uh, pushing with your, or your finger, um, and they've moved the patent date down onto the body in a tight circle. There are two variations with these. Um, that has to do with the recess, recesses. Here you can see that this bevel, the front and the back recesses are the same, whereas with this bevel, the front and the back are offset. Um, this one with the even coming first and the offset coming later, and that offset stays uh, for quite a while um, in the later types. So type 4 uh, is 1897. To 1912. This is the in, uh, introduction of the handy grip feature, um, this groove on the handle. Um, 
Otherwise, they're identical to a Type 3. Um, it just has the handy grip and the introduction of the uh, trademark, Stanley trademark, marked on the blade. There are five different variations um, of this type, all having to do with um, either the change of a patent date or the change of the font on this mark. Um, structurally, they're all, those five variations are all the same. Uh, so this is your Type 4. Type 5, uh, once again, uh, structurally the same as the 4, except we have a new patented feature. Um, we now have this uh, circle um, at the top of the slot. You can see uh, on the Type 4 it's not, not there. Um, and so this was a new patented feature uh, dated 1904. Um, there are two variations, once again, depending on the, uh, the trademark stamp. Um, but so that's five. Uh, six, um, not a patented feature, but a major change. Up till now, uh, the back, um, the tightening of the lever has been done by this uh, nut that sits here, and now we've changed to just this bolt head. Um, and if you were to loosen this and see, you would see um, a hexagon uh, shape. Uh, so it doesn't allow you unlimited um, adjustment of the lever, but it does make sure that it never slips and gets um, loose. And there are six variations of these. Um, once again, based on either uh, a couple of features, based on the trademark, uh, based on the size of this bolt head, there's a small and a large. Um, based on if the um, Stanley uh, impression is here in the uh, in the handy grip, and some other items. So you have uh, six different variations of the Type Six. That brings us to the Type Seven, uh, which is by far the most common. Um, this ran from. 1935 to 1861. Um, I think I might have missed saying the years for the Type 6. Those are 1918 to 1935. So this is 7, 1935 to 1961 with a break for World War II, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, there's not much of a change from the 7, uh, from the 6 to the 7, uh, but we have gone back to even uh, recesses. Um, you can see back on the Type 6, we still had the, uh, the uneven recesses. Um, we've also moved to a new trademark. Um, it's known as the BB trademark uh, that Stanley used for uh, quite a long time um, afterwards. And these are by far the most common. Moving to Type 8, which is the War Years, 1941 to 1944. We have two major variations. Uh, the first, they simply, uh, to save metal, uh, left off the bottom brass plate. Uh, the wood just goes all the way to the end, otherwise it's exactly the same as a Type 7. Um, but at some point they decided to get even um, more thrifty, and they got rid of the top plate and just basically put a washer um, on either side rather than the brass plate. Um, so the two variations are, are whether just the bottom plate is gone or the bottom and the top. But you can find all sorts of other crazy stuff um, as well. Um, sometimes they replace the brass with steel. This is a steel lever and a steel plate. Um, hardwood instead of rosewood. All sorts of uh, weird combinations. So then that uh, takes us to type 9, the last type, which is 1961 to roughly 2015. Um, there's six different variations, um, and those mainly have to do with types of wood, um, types of wing nuts, brass, uh, steel, uh, indented, blade type, stainless, uh, black coating, etc., etc. Um, so there's lots of different variations there um, with type 9. So that takes us through, you know, roughly uh, over 150 years of the... Uh, the Stanley bevels, and I should mention that the uh, we call these the number 25 uh, in the Type 9. Um, they actually added some extra annotations, the 25 TB, and then they went to a numbering system. 
Um, and the number 25 wasn't actually introduced until 1888, um, which would have been sometime during the Type 3. Uh, these were just known as Stanley's plated bubbles before that. But Stanley has only had one at any given time wood-handled uh, bevel. And so um, while they've changed the designation, it didn't always have a designation, these can all essentially be referred to as the, the Stanley 25. So hopefully that gives you a great overview. Um, I said you can refer to my type study uh, for a lot more details, more specific dating, um, and different diagnostics. So thanks for watching.